You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about Bubba Wallace. That's right. We got uh, Kansas. The ad, the Advent Health 400 is at Kansas today. And uh, we've got the odds from multiple places on who may or may not win this race. But before we get to that, we got Bubba Wallace saying Bubba Wallace kind of things. We know he's coming off of two consecutive DNFs, right? Coming into this, it's a big deal. As of right now, uh, Bubba is uh, a spot out of the NASCAR Playoff Cup Series. If it was to end, if everything ended today, Bubba would be out. He'd be out of there. And of course, Bubba's always got something to say. He's always running his mouth. And uh, it's kind of weird because he's always talking about his mental health and his uh, mental acumen and acuity and all this clarity. But he he notices every single little thing. He's allowing everybody to get in his head, right? And look, all I can say is, you know, he acts like he gets hated on when, let's be honest, his track record is that of someone who has done some things that he should get hated on for, okay? And uh, not everybody's thrilled like us. We don't like the fact that the media not only props him up and promotes him when he's somebody that can't find a a win, all right? It's like, you know, you do realize your uh, DEI uh, promotional tool that you're using, Bubba Wallace, is is in 50 plus winless races at this point. Right? That's a streak. All right? That's consecutive. And he's got no wins. But he's in every piece of marketing material. And then never mind, we all remember the garage news uh, the garage news hoax situation where he was crying with Don Lemon. So, this is Bubba's comments as we go into Kansas. Uh, Sports Skeeta, following his back-to-back DNS, Bubba Wallace is entering Kansas with a wiser state of mind. Wallace, who until two races ago was enjoying the best cup season to start his career, got hit by a series of disappointing results at Talladega and not at Kansas, at Dover. Uh, So now he's heading into Kansas, a racetrack he has won previously, at the uh, 2311 racing driver is a little more aware of how NASCAR can be. Well, my question would be how, at this point, how could you be not aware of what NASCAR is? I mean, you've been around long enough. And I'm going to be honest here, folks. Um, I feel like Bubba would have been more suited and probably would have had a lot more success if he would have just just go ahead, take a step down. Take a step down in competition, and he would probably perform much better, all right? But he's racing against the elites of the elites at this point, and it's not working out. Quote, it's, I think, a learning, you know, how the sport can go. You can start your year off the best we've ever done, And you've got to be mindful that it can go south quick, which it has. But that shouldn't deter you from the path that you've set yourself up for the start of the year, Wallace said, as per Front Stretch. Uh, Front Stretch was where this interview came from originally, I think. And And so you can be frustrated and pissed off all you want. But as long as you make it constructive criticism, giving yourself and the team the right feedback to keep the needle moving forward, that's what I've been trying to do. Is it? Is it? Because it seems like every time he gets frustrated, he says some totally nonsensical things, and you just kind of throw your hands up, and you're like, I don't know what this dude's talking about at this point. All right? And then there's the fact that he just happens to be around for so many damn wrecks. I mean, uh, whether he's at fault for the wrecks or not, you're just always around and involved somewhere. And at some point, you got to kind of just 
you know, look in that direction with a, eh, you know, not sorry, but, you know, Denny Hamlin or Kyle Larson is not always in these wrecks. Your teammate, Tyler Reddick, not, on, not in these wrecks. Wallace claims that it's easier for him to put it all aside. That doesn't make it any less frustrating for him. Wallace claimed that while it's, quote, still hard, it still is what it is because of the nature of NASCAR. The sport doesn't stop. Time doesn't stop for you, so no need to sit and dwell on it. There's a lot of people in your corner that are looking for good things out of this weekend, so we've got to go out and do that for them, Bubba Wallace said. And uh, this is a lineup right here. And uh, you see Bubba down here. He's uh, 23rd as we look through the list of uh, for the starting lineup at NASCAR. Now, sports line, betting odds. Kyle Larson, 4-1. to one. Denny Hamlin, 9-2. to two. Tyler Riddick, 6-1. to one. Martin Truex Jr., 15-2. to two. William Byron, 8-1. to one. Bubba Wallace is down at 12-1. to one. If I'm putting money on anybody, I got to be honest, Tyler Riddick, Denny Hamlin, William Byron might be the guys that I would be looking at for this race. FanDuel, you see it, Kyle Larson. Well, that's for a top 10. Uh, Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell, Tyler Reddick. Let's go up to outright betting and win it. Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Bell, Martin Truex Jr., Ty Gibbs. And uh, so that's where we're at as far as betting lines go for this race uh, it's going to be interesting I will say this I said that said it the other day it feels like Bubba uh, and I may or may not make another Bubba Wallace video after the race today if they get the race in I don't know what the weather looks like I know it's storming here in Texas and a lot of times when it's storming here it's storming up there um, so I haven't looked at the race weather yet so who knows if they'll even get the race in all the way but if something crazy happens, I may make a video, especially if Bubba is involved in it, because, well, people people want to hear about Bubba Wallace, and <laughs> people want to shake their heads. It, it, it doesn't make sense at this point. Bubba just keeps saying the same thing over and over again. He's He doesn't make any sense at this point. Um, it's like the trials and tribulations of Bubba Wallace. He, he's saying the same things over and over again. You can almost just... Like, put a recorder, he could record his normal lines after a race, and it didn't go well, and then he could just play it every week over and over again. Are you going to wreck every week over and over again? Uh, that seems to be the trend that we're on right now at this point. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. We'll see how this goes. God, he's always running his mouth about something. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.